How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzzy. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is a day. I've been never day. I've been never day to recall. Monday, and it would have been said, what's going to people, hopefully everybody's doing everything on this burning hot day. Now, in case you don't know, it's out in Jersey, and it's like 97, almost degrees. I have my air conditioner on, and the thing about it is that um, I don't even hardly feel it well. It comes to the bathroom, you know, it's always warmer. Even though I have it on and stuff, it's still like you can't kind of um, feel it. So, you know, I got my whoop a lot down here. You know, the little baby fan stuff. Now this is the thing I want to talk to you about. Now, me myself, um, I talk to you about a lot of different things and stuff, and then it is the damn factor. Now you may say, but Raven, what is the damn factor? This is the thing. <sighs> How do I put this? You know I don't give out names, so there were no names given out in this video. There was someone who hit me up and stuff and basically they kind of wanted to, I liked the picture of someone and they kind of started talking to me and stuff and they were like, you know, oh, okay, you like my pictures and stuff. So I was like, yeah, you know, and all of a sudden they hit me up in my direct inbox on Instagram. Now, me myself, you know, I, I talk to everybody, you know how I am and stuff and so they were talking to me about different things and stuff like that and I learned that I'm actually having a moment with someone that don't know who I am. Now the thing about it is that it's that damn factor. And the damn factor is once he knows what's going on with you and you share, you know, who you are, basically the whole conversation will shift as the cops come to get him, <laughs> the whole conversation will shift. Everything about the whole conversation is going to go left. Now, a lot of girls like me, we understand this story as far as what happens when we let someone know. Now, me, myself, you see, I don't care because I'm like, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But then there's always that one person where you just kind of wish... Like, you just kind of wish it was going to go to the, um, you know, to the good part of life as far as being good. And you just know in your gut. You say this stuff, you know, once I tell him, he's out the door. And this is the thing. <sighs> I don't want to tell him. Yes, Raven don't want to tell him. You know me, I'm very much... You know, always want to tell people up front and stuff like that. And, you know, it's full of so It's always that one that you just don't want to tell. Like, I, I, I'm enjoying this conversation. I'm enjoying the whole thing. You know, always full of so Tell, of course, be, you know, when the pants come down. But the thing is that you don't know, and I probably have never meet you. And knowing me, I don't want to meet you. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, you don't know. And I guess I can tell you more. Due to the fact that you're on a celebrity level, I know I can't be seen with you because the other girls has ruined it for the girls like me. And when I say that, because they basically went out and made it seem like a bad thing. So here it is now. I'm in this dilemma where I can't tell you what's going on because if I tell you what's going on, you're going to go back to what all these other girls like myself has done. Not me, but like the girls like me who has done and basically made us basically black ball when it comes down to people who are in the spotlight. And then there is no chance of you to ever go anywhere with me because of, you know, the paparazzi. It's just a hard dilemma and stuff and it's just so fucked up. I mean, like it is so messed up. It's like, you know, um, and I know I shouldn't blame anybody, but it's like if the girls didn't make it so negative that it could have been like, well, this is how it could have played out. Okay. Raven was dating a, um, a trans man for this long and they just broke up. That's a good thing. Oh, Raven said, Jim, I didn't even know, you know, I didn't even know nothing like this. But the way we was delivered into celebrities is just so messed up because 
they feel as though that we're out there to destroy their careers once they hit one of us up and they find out who we are. We need to be exposed to who we are and we're basically just a demon seed that's out here. Now me myself, of course, you know I don't give out names and stuff like that. Um, a lot of other ones on my page know I don't give out names, but it's always, in, in what's funny, a lot of the other ones, you know who you are. You're like, who is it, babe? Who is it? Y'all ain't supposed to be asking because, you know. But the thing about it is that it's just that fact that I don't want to tell the person. And I know once I tell him, it's going to be like, you are what? Because one thing I always said before, and I'll say it again. Once you tell somebody, oh, and the thing about it, I didn't know that this link, this whole name went worldwide. You know, here we go talking about, I'm two spirits. I'm two spirits, but two spirits don't seem to be much more travel as far as being transgender. Now, this is the thing. Once you tell someone you are transgender, you already know how to feel this word. But once you tell someone you are transgender, all they hear is you are a man. And that's exactly what I know he's going to say once, you know, I tell him. So I decided to stop answering his texts and stuff, and, you know, I just stop, I decided not to say anything to him. I'm like, at some point, I'm sure you're going to go through the videos. I'm sure you're going to get really curious. Because um, for you to get up so early to contact me because you need to talk to me and stuff, and then you're asking me for certain information, I'm like, I can't go no further than this. <sighs> it's so fucked up, though. If we were delivered a lot more differently when it comes down to celebrities, I believe that we would have a better chance as far as... And the thing about it is that nobody's trying to out the person, nobody's trying to put them on blast. Well, me, myself, I'm not. You know, but the thing about it is that the delivery was so fucked up that it messes it up for the rest of the girls because you don't feel as though you're worth it. And the thing about me is I feel as though I'm worth it, but I'm going to tell you like this. If you told me, Raven, this these are the kind of people right here that try to fuck your career, fuck your job, I'm going to tell you right now, when, I, when you say hello, I'm so-and-so, you'd be like, oh, okay, I'm out. Because I already know you've been, I've been warned, and I'm the kind of person, if you warn me about something, you know, um, I'm going to stay away, you know. But I just think it's so fucked up. Oh, I hate that I'm cursing, but I'm so mad. I just hate it, though. Like, I hate it because it's like, and the girls understand what I'm talking about, like the ones that say they don't want to tell. Because, you know, once we tell, you already know how everything is, it goes south fast, quick, and the next thing you know, it goes all across the board. You know, it's just so depressing to me, and it's sad. And, and before I make this video, he just texted me. You know, but at some point, I'm sure he may check the, the um, thing and stuff, and he's going to find out. But it's like, uh, it's just so fucked up. I just believe that if we were delivered the right way when we was introduced into the um, celebrity, we wouldn't be in such a bind as far as, you know, um, introducing us up as far as being a good kind of person and stuff. And now they have to weed through us all to find out who's the good ones and the bad ones. And a lot of times people, when you're talking about people's money, they're not going to do that. They're not. So it's just so fucked up and I'm so sad behind it and it's like, it messed me up so bad. You know, but it is what it is, and, you know, I'm not going to tell because I don't plan on meeting him and stuff, and, you know, it is what it is, but I just wanted to talk to you about that because, you know, it was that one person that you don't want to tell, and you know you have to tell, but in my case, I'm not going to tell because I'm not going to, I'm not going to go the rest of the way, you know, I'm not going to be the kind of person that, you know, blow up your spot because I don't believe in, I don't believe in, um, what they call snitching, word, um, when a person does Sniff, snitching to someone else, not um, outing, snitching, but, um, girl. A snitching. I a snitching. You know, I understand snitches get stitches, but that's the street term. When it comes to somebody who hasn't done a damn thing to me, and for me to just let them do something very mean to them, I just don't see. That's not me. You know, but it is what it is, and I just want to share that with you as far as the limit. A girl like me, you understand where I'm coming from. I love you. Be back on this. Have you ever met a guy that you really liked it and you know once you told him it was going to go sound? Anyway, that being said, I want to let you know that I love you and I want to thank you for watching Cat 3. Anyway, look at that weave. That weave look like it is human hair. To think weave for $11. Wow. 
Well, thank you for this wee. And I want to let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Catch the rave. Until we meet again.